Hello all and welcome to this Azure tutorial. In our tutorial today, we will learn how to launch an Ubuntu VM and install Apache on it. So let us quickly dive into the demo. So this is my Azure portal and I'm currently logged in as you can see. Uh, let us go ahead and now click on virtual machines. And the next thing that we will do is launch an Ubuntu virtual machine or an Ubuntu VM. So as you see, I don't have any virtual machines currently uh, in this account. So let us go ahead and create a virtual machine. So click on this create virtual machine button right at the bottom. Okay, so this is, uh, I mean, the, the first blade that you see over here to create a virtual machine. And as you see, my subscription is pay as you go. I have an existing user uh, resource group called as NAMP. Now, if you want to create a different or a new resource group, you can certainly do that as well. So let us go ahead and give uh, our virtual machine uh, a meaningful name, okay? So I'm gonna give this a name called as Ubuntu. VM. Okay. And I think that should be good. And I'm going to keep the image as Ubuntu Server 1804 LTS. I'm going to change the size of our VM. I'm going to use one of the cheapest sizes available, which is B1S. Since this is just a demo, this just works fine. And as you see, this is the cheapest, the 7.74 dollars per month okay click on select okay now for administrator account we are going to keep the authentication type as ssh public key and i'm going to keep, give the username as azure nam as you see all of them are in lowercase I have an existing SSH key that I will use here. So copy and paste this here. Now you could use an utility called as PatiGen to kind of create an SSH uh, public and a private key pair. Uh, I'm not going to showcase this in this video because this video is more focused towards how to launch the VM. I'll probably create a separate video and as to how to how you can go about creating an SSH public key. But the utility that you need to use or you can use is puttygen.exe. Okay, now let's continue further ahead. And for the public inbound ports, I'm going to open 22 and 80. So click on 80 and then click on 20. So AD because you're going to install Apache server. Apache is a web server. So once we install it, we will certainly want to go ahead and look at its default page. And 22 so that we can SSH into this machine and then eventually install the Apache server. So let us go ahead and click on next. And then we should give us a list of this. I'm just going to keep this as default. Next is networking. Now, in my case, I have an existing virtual network called as NAM VNet, and it has a default subnet as well. This is the public IP address. This is just a meaningful name to the IP address that will be given to us. And as you saw earlier, we have opened up inbound ports 80 and 22. Rest of the other details at this point of time, I'm going to keep them norm, uh, normal or default and then click on next step, which is management. I'm going to turn off the boot diagnostics. So turn it off and click on next. Again, click on next for tags. Again, review and create. So if all the information that we have provided to Azure is correct, then it will pass all the validations. As you see, it has passed validation. And then finally, it will give us a summary or a synopsis of all of our uh, 
you know, choices and our inputs. As you see, this is our username, Azure NAM. And then finally, it will give us an option to, to create the machine. So let us go ahead and click on create. Now today Azure is working a little slow, so it might take a couple of minutes for this VM to be launched. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and once the VM is, uh, is launched and it's available, I will uh, resume recording. Okay. So as you see, our deployment was successful and it has succeeded. So now let us go ahead and click on virtual machines and we should be able to see our virtual machine. So this is our virtual machine. So click on Ubuntu VM and it should show us all the details, especially the IP address, the public IP address that we will use to connect to this machine. So this is the public IP address right here. So let us go ahead and copy this. Now, in order to connect to this particular machine, what we will do is we will use putty.exe. So double click on this, copy the IP address right there. I'm going to increase the font size. And then click on SSH, authentication. And what we will be doing over here is we will be selecting the private file, okay, uh, for authentication. Now remember when we launched the machine, we had to use uh, the public key over there. Now in that particular key pair, there's a public key and there's a private key. In this case, what we will be doing over here is we will select the private key file. So click on browse. And as you see, this is the private key file right here. Click on open and again, click on open. So click on yes. And a username is Azure Nam and click on enter. Okay, so we have successfully connected to our Ubuntu machine using our private key file. Now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and install Apache on this machine. So the command to install Apache is sudo apt install apache2, enter. And it's going to ask you a couple of questions. Do you want to continue? Say yes enter and then it will continue to install Apache server. So as you see, it's installing Apache server right now. Okay, so Apache server has been successfully installed. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go here to our browser, click, uh, right here in the address bar and copy our IP address and hit enter. So as you see, this is the Apache to Ubuntu default page. So our Apache server has been installed successfully. And this is the index.html that you're able to see right here, okay? So if you want to go ahead and change this particular file, you can certainly do that. This is the path where this file is. So let me show you where it is. So if you say cd slash where cd www cd html and then do ls minus l. This is where the index.html should be. If I change the c mod of index.html, let me see if it allows me to do that. Okay, it's not allowing me to do that. But yeah, you will have to have a higher level of permissions to change this particular uh, permissions, read write permissions for this particular file is currently in a read only mode. But essentially, yeah, you could still go ahead and look at this file. It's right here. Let me showcase this file to you. So as you see, this is the file. And if you want, you can go ahead and modify this particular. 
okay so i'm going to go ahead and exit right now and this is the end of this video uh hopefully this was helpful this is one of the easiest vms to launch in azure and along with apache uh your once you have your ubuntu vm and your apache installed you pretty much have your so-called uh, uh, environment up and running now if whatever other additional tools or packages you want to install you you can go ahead and sort of so thank you for watching this video and hopefully I will get some time to create a video on how to create the SSH key and I'll have that posted shortly. So till then, uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.